Okay, again asked to solve a system of three equations. So I'm going to start out by looking for x and looking at the denominator. For the denominator, I'm going to use the coefficients of x, 2, negative 6, and 4. The coefficients of y, negative 3, 9, negative 1. And the coefficients of z, 1, negative 3, 1. Okay, in the numerator, I'm looking for x, so I'm going to keep the y and z columns just as they were. And I'm going to go over here to the x area and I'm going to substitute the constants for 11 and 10. Now, I'm going to again use the diagonal method and I'm actually going to start with the denominator and you'll see why in a minute, why you should always start with the denominator and how it can save you work. So I need to find this third order determinant and I'm going to use the diagonal method. So I'm going to rewrite these first two columns, 2, negative 6, 4, negative 3, 9, negative 1. Okay. After I've done that, just going ahead and rewriting this, so I'm not working with the numerator yet, I'm just going to leave that like this, and I'm only working, finding this determinant in the denominator. Starting at the upper left, using the diagonal method, this is going to give me, I'm going to find the products of this first diagonal, that's 2 times 9 times 1 plus this next uh, next number right here next set of numbers negative 3 negative 3 4 that product plus coming down right here 1 negative 6 negative 1. Okay, then from that I'm going to sub start subtracting this other set of diagonals starting down here and going up. 4, 9, 1. The product 4 times 9 times 1. Continuing on, minus negative 1, negative 3, and 2. Minus this last diagonal right here, 1, negative 6, negative 3. Okay, so x equals same determinant. Let's just work with the denominator right now. 2 times 9 times 1 is 18, plus negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 times 4, that's 36. Negative 6 and 1, that's 6. Okay, and now subtracting 4 times 9 times 1, that's 36 minus negative 1 and negative 3 is 3 times 2 is 6 minus 1 times negative 6 is negative 6 times negative 3 is 18. Now you can see what's happening here that x equals this determinant in the numerator but I have 18 and 18 so those cancel. That gives me 0. I have 36 and 36 so those cancel. 0. 6 and 6, those cancel. So I've got a 0 in the denominator, and that is not allowed. Since that is not defined, what I've ended up with is a situation where Kramer's rule does not work. It doesn't mean that there's not necessarily a solution to the system of equations, but what it means is that there's no unique solution. It may be that there are, there's an infinite number of solutions, it's a dependent system. It may mean that there is no solution. But I can't go any farther and I can't use Kramer's rule in this situation. And that's why the first thing you should do if you're using Kramer's rule is to check out the denominator and make sure that it's not zero. If the determinant in the denominator, D, is zero, you can't use this method. And that concludes this session of Educator.com on Kramer's Rule. I'll see you next lesson.